What's up, my sweethearts? What it do? It's your girl, Jennifer M. The realest, my sweethearts. My sweethearts, get your lightest all the way up. Texas, what it do, my sweethearts? Lightest all the way up. This Texas man charged in death of leaving his baby in a backpack, my sweethearts. Yeah, y'all heard me? He left his baby in the backpack while he worked. Get your lighters up. It's your girl, Jennifer M. The realest. Let's run this thing like cardio, my sweethearts. My sweethearts, light us up. If y'all think it's not monsters out here every day, my sweethearts, every day, every day among us, by us, I mean, just lurking, smiling in our face, the ones we waving at, you don't know who you waving and speaking to on a daily basis, and that's real. A smile don't define what's under that smile, straight up. All right, my sweethearts, so don't let, no, never let a smile define who a person is, Okay. Because behind that cruddy smile could be the devious acts or actions they have done, okay? All right, let's get it. Well, behind that innocent look, because he do look innocent. He look innocent. Trevor look innocent. So behind that, is a, he's a Texas man accused of leaving a 10-month-old girl in a backpack in his car, must we all, while he worked. is facing a capital murder charge in the baby's death, as he should. The man, Trevor Marquise Rowe, 27, see, young and dumb, was arrested early Wednesday in the death of 10-month-old Marion Jester Montoya, who was left in the front of a car and was later moved to the trunk Tuesday. Lubach police said in a statement, the girl was inside the car for more than five hours, my sweetheart, police said in an affidavit. Roe, who lives with the baby's mother, but is not her father, is always the case. These babies and these, these men who's not their daddies checked on the infant throughout the day. Okay, well, he the man. He he He's not the baby's father, but he... Ro, who lives with the baby's mother, but is not her father, okay, checked on the infant throughout the day, according to police. When he found that the baby was not breathing, he called 911. Mm. I don't have excuses, my sweetheart, so I'm going to just read this before I dug walk this man, because I don't have excuses. You're not going to tell me you doing all this, you watching the baby. I don't have excuses when you watching the baby and the baby end up dead. Ain't no excuse. The girl was inside the car for more than five hours. I have no excuse. Ro, who lives with the baby mother, baby's mother, but is not her father, checked on the infant throughout the day, according to the police. When he found that the baby was not breathing again, my sweetheart, I read that. He called 911, drove to an intersection, and began CPR, according to police. Why would you ride to an intersection? Soon the baby not breathing out of uh, DCPR. I mean, that's just me. Roe is being held on $2 million, a $2 million bond. According to police and online jail records, do not appear. Wait a minute. And online jail records. Records do not appear to list an attorney who could speak on his behalf. I don't believe. I don't blame them attorneys. Roe told police that he crammed the girl into a backpack and went to work and that at one point the baby had gotten out of the bed but he put her back inside according to the document it's like we dealing with a dog an animal he told the police my sweetheart if y'all don't understand why i go off we're dealing with a a person Who's acting like they're dealing. I don't, you don't even do an animal like this, my sweetheart. You don't even want to stick your puppy in a backpack, you know? Real stuff, light this up. You don't even want to stick your little puppy in a backpack. You like, oh, can he breathe? So, a cr it's a, he crammed. Roe told police, he, you crammed the girl into a backpack and went to work. Oh, like it's nothing. Yep, I'm going back to work. The baby got out the bag. I put her right back in. Like the baby got out like an animal. Oh, my God. These monsters out here. Rose said that during his lunch break, the baby was crying lightly. And that after the break, he put her in the trunk. 
through the back seat, pass through, and return to work. Oh, you was real G'd out. Oh, my goodness. No one heard the baby lightly crying. Oh, my God. Y'all are sick out here. And y'all want to say somebody crazy for going off? Y'all are sick. I stay crazy. I stay loony. I stay out of it. Yup. I won't be like y'all. Uh-uh. Yup. Long as you stay crazy, my sweethearts, nobody won't mess with you. I guess deal with you or not. Good. So you can stay safe. Oh, my goodness. When Roe checked on the child around 4.50 p.m., my sweethearts, she was not breathing, according to Affid David. Yeah, you crammed her into the backpack. Oh, my God. Sheila Montoya, the child's grandmother, told NBC that the family was planning her first birthday and a trip to Disney World, which is never going to happen. It ain't. It ain't. Where was the grandmother? Why you ain't get the grandmother to watch that baby? I cannot believe this, my sweethearts. If this stuff don't get weirder and weirder and weirder, you crammed your child, a baby inside your book backpack, took your baby to work with you. You're better off, better telling me, Jennifer Nurse, I knocked across the head to put her out to make her go to sleep for a minute, put it crammed in the back of the car. What? Then she got out of the backpack like an animal, like like some type of little puppy or something. Like, like, like just. She just got out the backpack and I shoved it back in. What? We ain't talking about no snake got out, no puppy got out, and you crammed them back in. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. The grandmother that's all you talking about, Disneyland? You need to be putting your foot up Trevor butt. Playing our first trip to Disney World, man. Forget that. I ain't thinking about no Disney World. I'm thinking about his world coming to an end. His world. Let's get it. His world. Bring him down. His world. Let's shatter it. His world. Are you serious? He need to be. I ain't trying to hear no 27. My, 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 my. What is it? If I had a 20 year old, my 20 year old wouldn't do that. My 10 year old, if I, if I had an 8 year old, my child wouldn't do nothing like that. Let's go, my sweethearts. The ultimate outcome of it was that now the baby that was our world is now gone. She told the station. Emilio Montoya, the baby's father, told KCBD that she had been learning to walk. A cause of death was not disclosed in a police statement. The temperature in Lublin was in the low 60s Tuesday afternoon, according to the National Weather. This is crazy. Officials have warned parents and other caregivers not to leave children in vehicles because temperatures can reach in life-threatening levels. There were 52 pediatric vehicular heat strokes, deaths. So why would you do this? Why would? Yes, I don't understand that either. I don't even care if it's in a car. You shoved the baby in a backpack. Baby was slightly crying. Then after the baby got out the backpack, you didn't even think of saying, let me go on break. Let me call somebody. Let me look for somebody. You didn't think the baby didn't want to be in the backpack after the baby crawled out the backpack row? If that baby crawled out of a backpack, you didn't think to call someone like the baby mother, baby mama, grandmama, somebody mama to watch that baby. You crammed then when it get then when the baby get out, you crammed the baby in your back seat. So basically, I want to say the baby should have stayed in the book bag then because the baby died in the back seat. How, how with the temperatures and stuff. Oh, my goodness. So it is safe to say that when the baby was in the backpack, the baby was uncomfortable, but it wasn't suffocating dead because you see the baby crawled out. You're an idiot. I know that baby wanted to take something and just slap you across your head and say, hello, I'm a baby. Get me some daycare. Y'all is neglectful out here. 
you parents, you step parents, you whatever parents, you half parents, you monster parents, y'all are neglectful. Y'all treat these kids like 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 they're not even human beings, like they have no feelings because they're babies. That baby knew. That's why that baby crawled up out of that book bag, couldn't do nothing. It's a defenseless baby. I hope you rot in jail, Trevor Rowe. This is when I hope they do everything they do to y'all in them jails. I hope they do it to you. My sweetheart's chime in with your girl. I think this is not right. This is, this is a despicable case. A slow death. You don't torture someone like this. That baby was tortured. Slowly. It's your girl Jennifer and the realest, my sweethearts. Be careful who y'all leave your babies with. These mothers out here messing with these men ain't these kids. Father, stop looking for a father figure. Ridiculous. If the baby father ain't no good... Which make you think us a, a new man gonna be better? He ain't even nothing to your kid. No blood, no nothing. He your pipe layer. Let him do what he came to do. Lay pipe. It's your girl Jennifer from the realest, my sweethearts. No excuses for these babies. And then I'm out. Like, share, subscribe, my sweethearts. Hit that bell to be notified. Comment down. Chime in. Where is my sweetheart set? This is unacceptable. Let's get it.